Welcome back to another rowing workout. Today we are going to build up and work on building upon lower stroke rates. And this week's focus is going to be specifically building off of the week one focus of this block. Whereas in week one, we broke up our row into five minute chunks. We went at 18, 20, 22, and 24 strokes per minute. This time we're gonna work through 16, 18, 20, and 22 strokes per minute every five minutes shifting our way up and the challenge here is to see if you can go back and look at those week one numbers at what you did at 18 through 24 and see if you can match each interval with the lower stroke rates today so can you match what you did at 18 at 16 today can you match what you did at 20 at 18 today we're gonna see if you can basically side by side try to match those splits from week one. You can do the best that you can. Of course, it might not be perfect, you might not be able to, but as we work our way up the stroke rates, we're always aiming to get two to five splits or so faster as the rate increases. That way we build up our efficiency to the best and most efficient way possible. So that's the plan of attack. Let's strap in and let's just row. All right, sitting ready on those sit bones. We're gonna start off five minutes at 16 strokes per minute, trying to match what you did at 18 strokes per minute last time. So let's get to it here. Three, two, one, let's drive, swing, pull. And let's get ourselves right into 16. Now this is a really low stroke rate. And so we need to really focus here on ratio. That means driving hard, coming controlled driving intensity into the into the drive portion of the stroke and controlling your body controlling your return we're going to get a nice big five minute chunk here to find our rhythm and once again if you did the week one workout of this block trying to match what you did at 18 here at 16. it's going to require a little bit more effort but your fitness has improved, your attitude's improved, and you're ready to bring it. If this is the first time you're doing this workout, or first workout of the block, then right now we're looking to keep in mind the totality of the 20 minute row today, which means we don't wanna be burning ourselves out right now. We wanna give a good, moderate step around 70% of max effort. So a good step that's gonna get your heart rate up. And this should really feel like weightlifting right now, where you, you know, lift the weight, control the weight back down. Lift the weight, control the weight back down. Thinking about, of course, initiating with our legs first, then swinging, then pulling. Leg swing, pull. And while it might be really hard to control your body during these low rates, practicing this now will only make you better in the future for all your workouts to come. It is so important to practice rowing efficiently at low stroke rates. One of the analogies I like to think about, if this is something, again, you're struggling to hold right now, is to think about on the way up, on the return or recovery, think about rowing through a thick wall of peanut butter. You know, you drive back, but then you hit the peanut butter, you gotta go slow, because it's thick peanut butter and it's slowing you down, but then you drive through it just fine. It's so one way to think about it. Another way to think about it is thinking of yourself as a light switch, where you flick on, flick on, and then off. You flick on, bing, flick off. Things to keep in mind. That's three minutes in. Two more minutes here at the 16. Hopefully your pace per 500 meter is nice and consistent, nice and steady. Well done to you if you're hitting your goal. In less than two minutes, we're gonna shift up to an 18 with more strokes per minute. It means overall more intensity and a lower split per 500. 
try to match what you did last time at 20, and we go to 18. Or if this is your first time, two to five splits faster. That's when we get there, which is in about a minute 15. Nice rhythm. All right, less than a minute before we take it up. Make sure you've got a goal in mind for the shift up, because having that goal before you get into it always better sets you up for success. So get your split goal in mind for when we take it up in about 20 seconds. I hope you've got that goal in mind. We're gonna take it up to an 18 on this next stroke, right here. Up to an 18. That's just a little bit more speed on the return, a little bit more drive in those legs. And settle into your faster split. Two to five faster. We wanna do our best here to keep the rate as disciplined as we can. Of course, you could row a faster split if you increase your strokes per minute, but this structure, this is what makes rowing workouts really engaging, really purposeful, when you're not just rowing back and forth as hard as you can, but trying to work within parameters. So try to find that 18 with a nice, Step and swing. Remember when we talk about ratio, we're talking about the speed of your drive back in relation to the speed of your return back up. And you always wanna to try to keep that under one. So drive fast, slow return. Less than a second back, more than a second coming up. That creates that ratio, that fraction, to be less than one. I know, it's a math throwback. Who knew we'd be doing math and rowing? So the intensity level has gone up around 75% or so of max effort. For those that are working through the block week by week, are you getting close to matching what you did at 20 strokes per minute in week one? Great work, knocking out two minutes into the new rate. 18 should be feeling nice, steady, and consistent now. Nice and long. What does it mean to row long? It means to be very aware of your body positioning, which means shoulders forward, push shoulders back. Shoulders forward, push shoulders back. Simple as that, my friends, simple as that. Good, how's your split doing? Have you been able to lock in a nice steady pace? It takes practice, if it's, been, if it's kind of bouncing all over, that's okay. We have less than two minutes before our shift up and, excitingly so, the halfway point. So with your split as steady as you can make it right now, you wanna start formulating your goal for the next rate up as we go into 20. Again, another two to five splits faster is gonna be our, the goal. Or more specifically, 
trying to match what you did at 22 in the week one of this block at 20. We still got ourselves a minute 15 until we shift up. So stay steady. We call this sawing wood. Just saw the wood one stroke at a time. Hopefully goals are locked in. T minus 35 seconds until our shift up to 20. Good, keep long with the body, lean and swing. Get ready to add a little bit more step and a little bit more speed on the return back up. And we'll go ahead and go for it here. Shift it up to 20. Oh wait, not yet, five seconds, I'm sorry. I called that early, here we go. Shift it up to 20 on this one. Here we go, up to 20. I got ahead of myself, I got excited. I got real excited. All right, so 20 strokes per minute now and through the halfway point. How are you feeling so far? We should be more around 80%, 80 to 85% max effort. Heart rate should be increasing. Intensity increasing, but still feeling confident, of course. And taking this time to establish and find your new goal. What is your new goal here at 20? What are you trying to hit? Hopefully our numbers are faster than what they were at 18, because that's what our build workouts are all about, building efficiency. Rate goes up, intensity increases, efficiency increases. We wanna make sure here that we are able to connect our legs to each stroke by making sure that our handle is lifted into the machine at the front end. We don't want to catch ourselves rowing with our hands too low. If your hands are low, you're not going to feel that connection on your drive back. So keep your hands lifted into your machine at the front. Lift the hands. Gradually lift and go back. Gradually lift and go back. Awesome. Twenty strokes per minute is my favorite rate. This is my jam. I hope you're feeling good with it. As every stroke we take is taking us closer to the finish line. The sweat is flowing. The breathing's going. That's two minutes in. Awesome. of your leg compression here as we work the rate. That means we're doing our best to go knees over ankles, but not past that. That's the tricky part. Make sure you're not over compressing yourself here at the 20, but getting your knees over the ankles properly, allowing you to load your quadriceps as you push and swing back. It takes practice, and some of you are so flexible that you can easily over compress, so make sure you're not. Look down at your legs if you need to. Use over ankles here. So over halfway through here on, or about halfway on this third rate, how are you feeling? How is your split doing? 
Again, we're always striving to find a consistent number to hold start to finish in the interval. Hopefully you have found that or you're working towards it. We're getting close to our final shift up and we wanna make sure that with establishing our rhythm here, that sets us up to get a goal in mind for our last jump up and rate. The toughest five minutes of the day. Less than a minute until we go for it. So get your goal in mind here. If you don't have it already for what you're gonna do at 22. For those that had completed week one of the block, you wanna try to beat, match or beat what you did at 24 on the week one build workout. T minus 10 until we make the jump squat. Keep the ratio, keep the rhythm. Here we go, up to a 22 on this one. 22 with your new goal. So we're adding more step. We're trying to keep our ratio still under one. So we want that fast drive, that control of return. Rocking that 22 here helping us understand that we don't need high rates to get a good workout. It's all about the push, the pressure, the ratio. Where's the ratio? Okay, over a minute in here, we should be feeling the pinch, feeling the pinch of this rate and this intensity as it is our most intense effort yet. We try to keep ourselves composed with relaxed faces, shoulders pulled down, shoulders down away from the ears, elbows back and saw wood. You got your hard hat, your lunch pail, you're getting in the reps here at work. Saw on wood, one stroke at a time, at your goal. Make sure you are not just letting things happen, but you are in control of your rower, you are commanding what split you want to hold, and working through it with nice, long, efficient form. We have less than three minutes till our work is done. I want you to ask yourself here, how are you feeling? And if you've got a lot more in the tank, a lot more, I want you to bring a little more ratio, a little more step, a little more control, and see if you can drive your split down another one, two, or three. That's if you feel like you got a lot more. If you are feeling it, and you're saying, Austin, I'm kind of dying, leave me alone. Just keep doing what you're doing. You got this. You got this. I just want to make sure you're finished with the workout, feeling like you gave your best. So just be honest with yourself. Nice, final two minutes to rock and roll. Who's gonna go for that one split lower for the last two minutes? Who's gonna add a little more? Here you go. It's all about the ratio, not the speed. Not stroke speed, stroke ratio. Drive, control. Drive, control. Nice, lock in that number, lock in it. Don't be afraid of it. 
This is training. This is making you better. Nice work squad, absolutely dominating this. We've got ourselves one more minute. A little, we got less than that now. So I want you to push the legs. Where's your ratio? Not your speed, your ratio. Build your ratio. Push, control, push, control. That's how you drive the split. Stay in the parameter, stay long, lean, swing. Get into it here. 30 seconds to drive some press, some good efficient build. Nice. 20 seconds, hang in there. Nice, last 10, stay with it. all the way through, and time. Very nice, light and easy. Woo! Okay. Relax your face, it's all good. You did great. I know you did. I know you gave it your best. And that's what matters. You need to stop getting so flustered about being perfect. And just be proud that you tried. Hopefully you hit your goals. If you came in with some goals in mind from the week one build workout of this block, or if it was your first time working through it, I hope you were able to slowly build intensity with confidence and learn that our stroke rate doesn't have to be super high to get us working real hard. So well done today. Keep up the practice. Don't think too much about it. Just row, just show up and row. That's what it's all about and you'll get there. Just keep trying. Thanks for joining in for the workout. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you for the next one.